John Flaherty is becoming an Eagle Scout with a project on other flying creatures, bats. My mom's like, this would be a really good project. And I was like, sure, why not? He is installing houses for bats at Irving's Mountain Creek Preserve. Some people are surprised at first. Why lure bats? They definitely were like, whoa, I didn't know I could even be a project. We had a man that came to the Boy Scout troop and explained what, what bats do for the environment. They eat the weight every night in mosquitoes. To pursue this natural method of mosquito control, John connected with Irving's Green Advisory Board and learned more. Members and others turned out for this installation. Every part of this project is the result of research, including the direction the houses face and the height. The reason they're up high is because bats cannot fly from the ground. They have to fall and get speed up to flapping their wings to fly. There is also a lot of thought in the design. A few months back, we learned more about that as John's scout troop helped with the bat house building. Right now we're staining the inside of it black so that it's darker for the bats. They're gonna climb in and this is what they hold on to, these grooves. You do need to follow a very strict regimen of guidelines just to make sure that the bats are comfortable in there and it's a place that they actually wanna live. Notice the houses are very skinny and that's to best suit a certain type of bat. We built the house for the Eastern Pipistrelle because they're one of the smallest and they eat mostly mosquitoes. Even something so small, like the bat we're building these for, it can make such a big difference. That type also does not form large colonies of thousands or even millions, like those that attract tourists in Austin. Look at that though, look at that, look. Here in Irving, the houses might attract a few dozen in a colony. As carefully researched as the design is, there is one part more for fun. The bats probably won't recognize themselves to know the houses are open just for them. No, but people will know what they are. So if someone like sees these and look up and see, oh, those are bat houses. Three more to go. They believe the more people know about bats, the less afraid they'll be. They're not dangerous that way. The only danger is if they're on the ground. Now, they are wild animals and they will bite. The thing to do is not touch them if you see them on the ground. They could be sick. That means they could have rabies. It's crowded here. I come from a scouting family. Okay. People on this project believe the benefits of natural mosquito population reduction outweigh any risk. Our earlier story on ICTN generated a big response. We've been very surprised about how much attention the news. We've been called by uh, three different news stations. I was very surprised. Uh, since this wasn't an ordinary Eagle project, uh, it was pretty cool to see all the attention it got from the networks and stuff. Now they will wait and watch to see if the houses work. It could take a couple of years. The outcome is uncertain, but the optimism is high. It seems like there's a big interest in environmental control versus pesticides and the spray. If this could work, it would be so much better for the environment and for everybody. Hopefully we can not only bring bats, but like make a movement to make more bat houses for Irving and around Dallas. I was really happy to do this project. Thank you everyone for coming. I couldn't have done it without you.